Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about uh, how to enable Hyper-V on Windows 10 um, desktop. So in particular I'm talking about Windows 10 Pro, so you can't enable it on Windows 10 Home. So you need to be running Windows 10 Pro. Um, <clears throat> if you're on Windows 10 Home then you can just simply purchase a, a, a low cost license key and upgrade and then um, enable the Hyper-V options from the uh, add features setting in the control panel. Okay, so to enable the features uh, Hyper-V in Windows 10, um, we're gonna go and do a right click on the properties here. So you need to make sure that you are running Windows 10 Pro. If you're on Windows 10 Home, you would come here, click on the change product key, enter your new product key for Windows 10 Pro, and that will then go off and upgrade your system to uh, to the Pro version and you'll be prompted to reboot afterwards. So once you're on Windows 10 Pro, you want to add the features, and we do that by clicking in the search box and typing in add feature, and then clicking on turn features on or off. Um, and we wanna come down to Hyper-V, which is here. We're gonna expand the selection and we want to you can see what we've got here. So this first one we're going to enable, which is the man management tools. And then we want to click on the Hyper-V services and the Hyper-V uh, hypervisor. And that will give you a tick box across all of the two. Um, and then you want to say, OK. That will then apply the changes and it will prompt you to reboot. So once you've rebooted, you want to come into your search bar again. And we're going to type in, uh, we're going to look for Hyper-V manager. So as you can see, here it is. So we're going to open the manager. Um, now Windows 10 comes with a couple of virtual machines already built in. There's uh, there's some Windows 10 options, but there's also Ubuntu that comes um, as default included. So if we click on Quick Create, as you can see here, we've got Ubuntu already in here. But if you're going to be installing from a local source image file, you click on Local Installation Source. Um, and that will then go off and prompt you for where the ISO image is or the virtual uh, hard disk is. Um, so if you are gonna be running Linux, if you're not gonna be running Windows, then untick the box here, um, and then that will then prompt you. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pick the default. So we're gonna install Ubuntu 18.4.1, and we're going to click on create virtual machine you can have a look at the more options so um, whether you want to install a specific separate um, virtual switch you can also do that but we're going to select the defaults and then we're going to click on um, create virtual machine that will then go off and download the ubuntu package and install that in our virtual environment Once that's downloaded, it will, as you can see, verify the image. And then it will set up the, uh, the virtual machine. Okay, so what we can do is we can have a look at the settings. 
uh, as you can see here it's giving it two gig of memory uh, it's giving it um, four virtual processors it's absolutely fine virtual hard disk network adapter okay so we'll cancel that let's connect to the unit so we click on start Okay, and then <clears throat> this is a standard install for uh, Ubuntu. I'm going to say UK. Obviously, we're in the UK. And then Actually, I'm going to say uh, login automatically. I'm not worried about the password strength as it's on a virtual machine. Okay, so that's all there is to it basically. So once you've um, finished with your Ubuntu session, uh, the way that you would close it down is normal. So you can either capture it on here uh, with the power off, or what you can do is to uh, use this option here called shutdown, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna shut down the machine. <clears throat> close that so when we want to come back to opening our Ubuntu instance again um, we come back here to our Hyper-V manager so we'll just show you that from scratch so um, Hyper-V manager in there and to start it again you would select the virtual machine you want to start and then click on start Then once that's uh, running, you want to click on connect, this option here. And what you want don't want is you don't want to go into the enhanced session manager. Now, the reason for that is because that um, uses a proprietary system, as you can see here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch back and I'm going to select basic session. And that brings us back and that uh, gives you the full functionality. Um, there is a way to set it up. I've not researched that, but I'll pop another video up once I've done that. So that's all there is to it. I hope you found the video useful. If you've got any suggestions or comments, then please leave a message under the video. Um, and if you can like the video and also subscribe to our channel for future notifications and updates on anything IT related. Thanks for watching.